All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is my next project. I'm going to, uh, I want a flat spot on my anvil. And the guys down from the machine shop, they, uh, I guess, did a hard test on it. And they don't want to mill it unless I buy the bits for their mill machine because they're afraid it's going to ruin their bits. And he said, just take a grinder wheel and just grind it. I really don't need, I don't know, I, I thought of different things different ways, and one of the guys in my shop decided or just gave me an idea, and I like it. Give me a piece of this uh, 5 16th uh, piece of metal. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is notch this, notch it out, make a horseshoe, and fit it in here and weld it, I think. Just notch it and take some 7018, which 7018 is 70,000 pound tensile strength. If I weld that in there and I can weld all the way around, then I'll have a flat spot and just leave this. I need, I want the round too, and I guess I'll clean this horn up a little bit, which I don't ever see me needing it, and just clean it up. That's, anyways, I'm kinda bummed about not being able to have it milled, but it is what it is. But, I do want a flat spot, and I'm not, I'm not going to be making knives or, you know, doing anything to chew horses or anything like that. I just want something to where, uh, I don't know if you guys have watched the video, but I was hammering that pin in that ball pin in, with a ball pin in that uh, 24 inch pipe wrench. I really need something flat. So. That's my next redneck operation. Uh, probably, I need practice with the torch in my uh, acetylene, so I'll probably cut it with acetylene. Gets too used to using the, I could probably make a really good accurate cut with my uh, plasma cutter, but uh, I, need, I need some practice with my torch. Clean this up and Definitely need some more skill with my welding because I tried to, I was welding on that uh, aluminum and it took me a little bit uh, to get that steel piece out of that aluminum. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm not a great welder. A I, I, long time ago I bought a book and I taught myself how to weld. So that's before the advent of uh, YouTube. So I'm not the best, but uh, I've welded several of my own trailers and stuff up before, so I'm, I'm confident in my own ability, for me anyways. I don't know about the rest of y'all. Well, that's my plan. So I'm gonna take this outside, clean this up, wire wheel it real good, and uh, then cut it. Probably show you what, how I'm gonna cut it. I really need, what I need is a, uh, a whiteout pencil. I need to mark my metal. I don't have something good to mark my metal. Anyways, I'm rambling. Let me uh, get started and I'll start the video back up. I'm doing this outside because right now, the weather ain't too bad. Plus, I can't, I don't want to do it in the shop. It gets too smoky. Too much debris, too much trash. The thing. Plus, I can't do it tomorrow. I got to do it today because tomorrow the fire danger is going to be pretty high. So, today is it. Work today best I can. Wind's supposed to be really bad tomorrow. No, it ain't good today. 
we'll have extreme fire danger tomorrow. Ah, oh, come on, fit in there. I want it to go just a certain way. I gotta clean all this up because I'm gonna weld on it. Yeah, that ought to be clean enough to weld on. Alright, let's see what I got here. What I'm thinking... Thinking of doing that right here. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know for sure if this is going to work. Oh my God. Really need somebody to film when I do this. Oh! Trying to mark this square. I think what I might do is cut it tight and then come back and maybe clean it up with a cutting wheel. Just cut like, cut that off. Cut across here. I'm thinking that's that's my thinking. I don't know. I'm rednecking this. I'm doing this on a whim.
Oh, uh, let's see. What else do I need here? What do I need? Think, stupid, think. If I get the welder set up, put this in an angle, blow the slag out to the side, I think that's the best way to do it. All right, I'm talking to myself. I'll show you what I'm doing. Like I said, I've I taught myself how to weld and taught myself how to use a cutting torch. Yeah, I'm not that good at either one of them, but at least I don't blow myself up and I don't burn myself up and I am safety conscious. Uh, I don't use a lighter on the acetylene torch. I do not. But, make sure I got my fire extinguisher close by. We'll get started on this, see what happens. We gotta clean this table off a little bit. I really need a welding table, a small one, but I've got this wooden table. I hate using it, but that's what I got. And I don't wanna weld outside, not today. The wind's blowing pretty good, or could be the cutting torch outside. I'm rambling, I'll be back. All right, guys. I've got my uh, oxygen at about 25 wide open. I got my acetylene three quarter turn at uh, about six pounds. And I do wear my, I got a bad habit of trying to grab metal when I'm, when I'm working on something and that sucks when you burn your hand. So I don't use my, uh, my TIG gloves or my, uh, I got a pair of TIG that I also use for my, uh, Oh, I can't even think of what I'm trying to say now. Oh well, anyways, I wear these heavier gloves. Uh, I had to put my uh, torch that I got from uh, the pawn shop on. Ah, come on. All right. Not getting any settling. All right, let me see what I've done wrong. Well, that ten dollar torch I cleaned up and tested, I put the arresters on it, and one of these it's not working right. So I put the chinesium back on. I don't like to, but that's what I did. I'm ready. It won't release. Oh man. Well, I'll grab one of them old craftsmen up there and work on it then. Use it. I don't like using this torch like that. It's see it's sticking. It won't release. Alright. Back up. Alright guys. I want it. This is the Victor torch that I got from uh, uh, the pawn shop. I, I put these on and this one's bad. Anyways, you can use the torch without him. I like the Victor better than the Harris torch. That's what the Craftsman's are. And this is that Chinesium I bought a couple years ago after my fire and the handle sticking so that that's not good see if you can hear it, it's not sticking that's what I wanted ah
And I'm just having all kinds of things today. Let me tighten this tip down. One thing, I need a bigger wrench. Be right back. Man, this sucks. All right, what I had to do, you guys didn't see it, it was off the, I didn't have this tight and I was uh, leaking a little around there. Oh, well, try it again. Double check everything. cut <laughs> actually kind of sucks see what I mean by wearing the bigger gloves yeah I didn't get it I really need to cut that up, clean that up a little bit wonder if I can do it with the torch guys are watching me make mistakes I really need more practice with a torch man do I need more practice all right
got set wrong. Hang on. Ah. Definitely hot. Oh yeah. It's gonna work. I can't tell if you guys can see. I, can't. I got my goggles on, sorry. Clean that up just a little bit. It should fit all right. All right. There I just proved to myself I need more practice. Definitely more practice. Anyways, let me turn the acetylene off first. Get the oxygen off. Hang on a second. Feed the lines. And I'm not sure which one's which to bleed the oxygen or acetylene. I just. I always bleed off the oxygen first. Turn my regulator. There we go. Now we're all good. All right. Let me grind this back down and then uh, we'll see what we got. I need something to drink too. All right, ladies and gentlemen. See how we're gonna do this. Now yeah, maybe this might be the best. Got it cleaned off. The problem is I don't have a clamp big enough. So I'm gonna to have to eyeball and tack weld this. And hopefully this works. Because I don't want to get the damn thing crooked. There's no one here to help me. Ah, frustrating. Don't have a clamp, nobody here. So, I'm gonna try to redneck it myself. I hate this. When you try doing things like this, it never works. 7018, brand new package. Running about 155 amps. Turn it on. Helmet. Let's see what we got here. Right about. Just can't get it. Say oh. what? Let's do this. Start off with a different rod. 
at least I can get it tacked and then cover it. Let's do some 6011. Let's try that first. And then go back over it. Ah. Need a better ground. I, I'm pretty sure that's what my problem was the other day. This little, it's barely on there, and it's it's not much of a clamp. See that clamp? I bought this off a guy marketplace, and he put a oh jump jump starter clamp on it. I may have it too hot for this. Yep, I'm tilted. God darn it. Alright, let's see here. I'm tilted. What I got here. And I don't want to move it too much because. Ah. Close this drawer. I want to see what I got here. Well, it's not bad. It's not good either. what I'm gonna shoot it just right there I'm gonna hit it with 6011 tack it a few more spots and then come back with 6, uh, 7011 or 7018 sorry fix this. There we go. Straightened up a little bit. Keep hitting it too much and we'll break my weld completely off. Let's try that. All right. reason 7018 don't work like this is harbor freight stuff I think oh that's gonna be a problem getting in there let's see what I got ah, come on Ah, 
Come on. Well, I'm showing my difficulties, fellas. I cannot run that 7018. I have no idea why. All right, let's go back to 6011 then. Run that. It's a little hot, but the hell. I'm gonna cool it down a little bit. Let's try about 135. I've got to get a hammer and chisel and peck at that, break it up. I cannot run that 7018 on this. I don't know why. This unit will not run 70, or at least this pack. That's two packs I've opened. What do I got here? Oh, all this stuff's old. <laughs> oh, this stuff's faded. 6010. All right, I'll just run the 6011. Damn, how am I gonna get that in there clean? I need to run some more beads. Let me find something I can run in there. All right, guys. Now I'm gonna run, uh, let's see where I'm at, right there, yeah. I'm gonna, uh, I've got a, the only thing I could find to get in there is a file. Like that. I'm gonna go ahead and run that 6011 on that. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. Sticks out. Oh, I did. Guys, hope somebody finds this entertaining. <laughs> it's sure a lot of work. Powered up. Let's go. Beads. 
Man, I never even thought about having something to run down in here. Stupid little wire brush don't work. Got a little bitty one, but there it goes, that one will work. Got the plastic though. All right, guys. Let's run another. Definitely need a new ground, and I got to find some 7018 to run because I was wanting higher tension strength. That's all right. I really need to run it. This is hard under here. the video I've had to work so much lately that I can't get anything done but I think I'm finished with my uh, my uh, anvil homemade anvil I just glued a rubber base to it that's my anvil <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I mean, I don't know, it's, I need a flat spot, and I wanted something rubber base on the end. I still may, I don't know if I'm gonna bolt it or clamp it next to my uh, vise, but I painted it the other day, it's been sitting for a couple days, and like I said, welded this uh, plate. Yeah. I don't know if it uh, should be just, it'll hold, I'm not. I don't need my welds x-rayed or anything like that. I just need a flat spot like I uh, showed in that one video, I cracked my vise. So I've got another vise coming, I think. Uh, 
this vise here I'm going to take apart and weld inside and out and then grind it back down. Now I can beat on something and not worry about breaking it or cracking it. Uh, anyways, this, uh, I don't know, tell me what you guys think. It's a small rail, narrow gauge, nothing super fancy. I could have left it, just used the rail, but I, I wanted something a little bigger, something to, to flat. I mean, I'm not going to make a knife. I'm not making anything like that. I just needed something like if I'm beating a rivet or tapping on something, trying to knock something loose or knock it out, I wanted it to, to have something that I could really beat on without having to break my vice again. Uh, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but for $12, free piece of metal, a uh, little used spray paint that I had in a can. Uh, yeah, I really didn't need to do that. I just did it because everything else in my shop is pretty neat and clean. I try to do that. Uh, anyways, tell me what you think. If you guys like it, if you think it's worth the time and effort, if not, uh, like I said, I, I've priced anvils and them things are just so expensive right now. I, I can't see, man, I can't see spending $1,000, $1,500 for an anvil. I, not, especially for me not needing, you know, making knives or anything like that or tooling steel like that. Uh, that's an art self. That, uh, that is an art in itself. Uh, you, being a blacksmith, that's... Uh, you know, if I want to bend metal, I fire up the, the acetylene torch and bend what I need. But, uh, you know, making things out of steel, unless it's welding or cutting it, uh, I'm not good. I'm not even going to attempt it. All right, guys. I don't know if I made an end to this video, so I'm making another. Uh, hopefully this is all right. I finished my homemade anvil. Uh, this is really small for a railroad track. Uh, had a couple different people look at it. Uh, both of the railroad enthusiasts I had to look at it said it, they thought it was a uh, mining car, railroad mining car. Uh, I don't know. Or uh, one gentleman said he thought it could be for uh, the old electric uh, cars. I can't remember what he called it now. Sorry, guys. <laughs> But anyways, uh, I welded a plate there, and I've got my plate a little off. There's a little bit, there's more of a gap here than here. It's hard to do by yourself. But uh, the reason I kind of did this is I wanted something that if I wanted to bend some metal or something, if I was heating something up, I could bend it. I could use this to bend, bend up or down. Uh, but I wanted somewhere flat to where I could put something on and hammer. And then I like this, it's kind of rounded. Uh, the horn part, I don't, I don't know enough about blacksmithing or anything like that. I just cleaned that up because it was sharp. I just kind of cleaned it up. I just left it the way it is. Uh, looks cool, if anything. Uh, I needed something to beat on. And the reason being is I cracked my vice a while back couple weeks ago and that ticked me off so I went ahead and uh, found this at the flea market and fixed it I've already used it for my Klein coats all right I'm back with tape measure and yeah we're base of it's 12 inch the anvil base itself is about 10 I think the overall length of the anvil is 14, or the track. The track itself is only three and a half inches tall. Yeah, three and a half inches tall, which uh, is pretty cool. And this, I made kind of like four by four. This, this is a piece of scrap metal we had at work. I literally dug it out of the trash and uh, just notched it. Well, you'll see the video. Uh, anyways, 
I'm happy. I mean, I've, I've never owned an anvil and I've priced anvils. Oh my God, those things are outrageous. And I don't, I'm not a knife maker and I, I don't, I'm not going to make any ornamental wrought iron or anything like that. I don't, I don't know how to use an anvil properly. I just needed something to beat on. Something that, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to mount it. I wanted something that I'm not worried about breaking and yeah, I'm not going to break that. Uh, it, uh, that that's just, it's just cool to have. I, Piece of history, uh, both uh, the railroad guys I talked to said uh, about 130 years old, they think, uh, cable car or, uh, yeah, cable car I think is what he said, or uh, used in the mining. He thought maybe it might have been used in some mining. The gentleman I got it from was pretty sure it was well over 100 years old. So... But, you know, you can't believe everything you hear from, the, from your sellers, especially in flea markets. But uh, I think it's cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I better get in there. I need to cook out. I need to cook some. I'm cooking pork chops tonight. So, anyways, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, there, tell me what you think. If, you, uh, if you've ever seen anything like that, it's a small track. It really is. Oh, I forgot to show the width. Uh, inch and three quarter, inch and three quarter width. I guess I could go online and look look things up, but I don't know about railroad track. Anyways, I don't care. It's just an anvil for me. Something to use. That's way cool. <laughs> I painted it red because I got so much of this color. Sunrise, sun sunrise red. I think. I like I like the color. Anyways, I put a rubber mat on the bottom of it. Just when I hit it on the concrete, it made a hell of a ringing noise. So up here, it's not so bad. And like I said, I'll just bolt it. Oh, I'm rambling again. I need to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have a good evening.